was gonna say Hamilton. That's not her name. And today I'm here with my October 2017 wrap-up video part two. If you're interested, I did a part one where I talked about the first couple of books that I read. And I'm going to talk about the last seven. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book of these seven that I read is The Book of You by Claire Kendall. I ended up giving this book a two out of five stars on Goodreads. I was super excited about it when I first picked it up because it sounded like it would be right up my alley, but definitely fell a bit short for me. The book follows a woman named Clarissa who is being followed and stalked by a man named Raph after a drunken mistake one night. Raph seems to be everywhere. Clarissa turns and the only place that she is safe is the courtroom as a jury member in a very gruesome case. As the case unfolds, Clarissa realizes that the case and her life are very similar and that makes her very uncomfortable. As I said, I really wanted to like this book. It seemed like it was right on my alley. I usually love thriller books, especially when they have stalker tendencies to them. That sounds super weird. But I absolutely adored You by Caroline Kepneys and I thought it would be a little bit like that but it's a very different story. I felt that the story kind of dragged on for the most part. A lot of it could have been cut out and it still would have worked. I also thought that the plot was very slow and to me I like being on the edge of my seat the entire time but it definitely didn't happen with this book. Honestly I didn't feel connected to Clarissa at all. I wasn't invested in her story. I didn't really care what happened to her in the long run. I did think the format of the book was really interesting. It was told in journal entries as well as like like normal book telling ways but the journal entries were like a super cool way to tell the story. It's definitely a very dark book with a lot of trigger warnings so definitely be aware of that going into the book because it was very hard to read at times. The next book that I have I absolutely loved so dang much and it is The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnon. I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I have a full review if you're interested in my full thoughts, but I highly recommend it. Again, this is a very dark book that has a lot of trigger warnings, so be aware going into it, but if you want to see my full thoughts, then check out my review. The next four books that I have are actually ones that I read for the Spookathon, so I have a Spookathon wrap-up if you're interested in knowing my full thoughts on any of these four books. I'm just going to go through them and tell you the ratings that I got, and if you want to hear everything else, then go check out that video. The first book that I ended up reading was Haunting Violet by Alexander Harvey. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. It was enjoyable while I was reading it, but I don't think it was anything really that special. I don't really have anything to say about it. If you want to hear my full thoughts again, check out the video. The next book that I read was called The Hatching by Ezekiel Boone, and I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars as well. Again, it was nothing special. It's about carnivorous spiders. So, I mean, if you're into man-eating spiders, then this could be the book for you, but I didn't think it was anything that special. The last two books I actually really, really enjoyed, and a lot of people don't like the book that I'm about to show, but I absolutely loved it. And it is The Outliers by Kimberly McCrite. I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. A lot of people say it's too unrealistic for their liking. Personally, I thought that that made the story better, but that's just me. But I recommend this if you're into, like, thrillers that are, like, keeping you on the edge of your seat the entire time. And then the final book, again, I absolutely loved. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars, and it is a Friend Request by Laura Marshall. This book was really good. I expected to like it a lot, but I didn't expect it to like it as much as I did. It's a super great thriller. If you want to hear my full thoughts, check out the other video, but I recommend this one as well. All right, guys, so that was my October wrap-up part two. Let me know down below if you've read any of these and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!